there's a common misconception in our industry that existing schools can't achieve the same type of transformative learning environments that new schools can. I think this building overcomes that misconception and I think it proves that even in an existing structure, you can create these modern, open, flexible learning environments. When you drive or walk by the school, you see the old Menasha High. But when you walk inside of it, it has a whole different feel to it. Everybody was using the main hallway. It became a big traffic jam to get from point A to point B. Sometimes if the, the hallways got too bad, you might be a second or two late to a classroom. And me personally, I don't like being late to a class. We met with about 60 members of the community. And we talk about what do the kids from Menasha High School need so that they can go on to their post-secondary plan and be successful. People really appreciate us continuing the tradition of Menasha High, but yet offers us all of the amenities that a modern building will give. We have more space, plus we have some of the comforts that really are good for kids, is natural lighting. And then places where kids can just kind of chill out a little bit, be alone, but yet also places where we can put them all together, have a lot of noise, but yet be productive. From day one, the, the district and, and administration had told us we, you have to bring the character and the history of this building to life, but we also want a modern learning environment at the same time. At the onset, there were two critical elements that would make this project a success. One of those was improving the circulation, and the other was infusing natural light into as many areas as possible. Well, I've been teaching here for 27 years. There's a lot of pride in the school that we have, and kids appreciate it. They think this looks like college here. It's a place where they want to learn. I just think it's a much more collaborative effort that we have going now, and the building helps that. Now they're learning in a space which simulates their life after high school, no matter what post-secondary path they take. When you're in a science wing, you actually get to see the old gym the way it used to be, which I think is outstanding. Science Wing is amazing, as well as their library. And we all want to study here together now. We don't have to go somewhere else to study. We can just stay here and we can all work together. It's, it's a great atmosphere here. I think the greatest success of this project is the student commons. It actually functions more like a student union. There's even a coffee shop. I really appreciate the work that the architects and the, uh, the, uh, the construction company did. It was fantastic. So we kept the theme of the original building, the classicness of Menasha High, the tradition of Menasha High, and tied it with a timeless addition. People really appreciate us continuing the tradition of Menasha High, but yet offers us all of the amenities that a modern building will give, such as better heating and cooling, natural lighting, all the electrical outlets we need for kids to plug in their devices, uh, more open spaces for circulation. It, it really is a nice blend. It's something to be very proud of. We've accomplished what we set out to do, and uh, we can be very proud of that, to know that we're having a, a, a huge impact, not only on the community, but on these students and the staff for, for many years to come.